So, good morning class. Uh, ang topic natin today is kung paano mag-solve ng variable separable differential equation. So, gamit yung calculator natin. So, meron akong So, pero bago ang lahat. So, concept muna tayo bago tayo mag-solve ng variable separable gamit ang calculator. So, meron tayong problem na 2y dx is equals to 3x dy. So, ito is ordinary differential equation. So, pwede natin isolve ito ng variable separable. So, sa variable separable, pag pagsamahin natin yung mga x saka mga y. So, yung equation natin, bracket 2y dx is equal to 3x dy. So, tatanggalin natin itong 3x. So, over 3x, tatanggalin natin itong 2y. So, over 2y. So, multiply natin yung equation na ito. Dito sa... 1 over 3x and 2y. So, ang equation natin magiging dy over 3x is equal to dy over 2y. So, pag nag-grouping mo na siya, di ba, i-integrate na natin yan. Tapos yung constant ilalabas. So, magiging siya 1 third integral of dx over x is equal to 1 half integral of dy over y. So, ito is du over u basic integration. So, Magiging siyang 1 third ln x is equal to 1 half ln y plus ln c kasi may mga ln to. So, so bakit may 6 dito? Yung 6 ay list ko ang denominator ng equation. So, para matanggal natin yung mga denominator. So, multiply natin itong 6 doon sa buong equation. So, magiging siyang 2 ln x is equal to 3 ln y plus 6 ln c. So, no, no stop logarithmic. Magiging siyang ln x squared is equal to ln y cubed plus 6 ln c. So, yung 6 ln c magiging constant pa rin yan. So, kahit anong itabi mo sa sa constant, constant pa rin yung lalabas. So, yung equation natin magiging ln x squared minus ln y cubes so nilipat ka lang yung ln sa kabila so magiging siyang negative ln y cubes is equal to ln c so by loss of logarithmic difference ng logarithmic magiging siyang ln x squared y cube is equal to ln c so paano natin yung tatanggalin yung ln so ilalagay natin siya sa exponent ng e. So, magiging equation natin is e ln e x squared over y cube is equal to e raised to ln c to the base e. So, loss of logarithmic cancellation. So, mga cancel to bababa yung x squared y over y, over y cube is equal to c. So, yan yung yung final answer. So, ito yung final answer. So, ngayon, paano ba mag-solve gamit yung calculator? So, meron tayong variable si variable. So, solve natin siya gamit yung calculator. So, mga gamit nyo ito sa board exam nyo. So, yung step 1 is kailangan nyo munang equate yung equation sa dy over dx. So, pag nakama siya, so dy dy over dx is equals to 2y over 3x so ito itong 2y over 3x input nyo lang yun sa calculator so 2y input nyo lang sa calculator 2y over 3x yung then press cal magtatanong yung value ng x gawin yung 2 and y is equal to 2 so magiging 
sagot niyan is dy over dx is equal to 2 thirds. So, yan. Yan yung first step. 2 thirds. Tapos, di ba sa board exam, kung, ang ita, ba, what is the differential equation dito? So, bali magbibigay ng option. Magbibigay siya ng option. So, bali yung tamang sagot ay isa sa mga option yun. So, bali kasama to sa option. sa so, bali, sabi natin si yung answer. Si yung answer. Si yung A, B, and D. Bali yun. So, try na natin itong sagot na to. So, yung first step is dy over dx. So, ng dy over dx ng question. So, ngayon, sa so next step naman, sa, sa mga option ka titingin. So, sa second step, sa, mga, sa option ka natitingin. So, bali ito yung sagot, di ba? So, check na natin to Check na natin. So, yung magiging formula natin is dy negative derivative ng constant times derivative ng constant raised to negative 1. So, meron, yung una is derivative of constant. Yung subscript niya is x and y. So, yung pangalawa is derivative ng constant raised to negative 1. Yung subscript niya is y over x. So, ano yung sabihin niya? So, bali yung sa una is x and y. So, naka-equate na siya sa c, di ba? So, derivative ng constant. So, input yung negative derivative. So, yung una is x and y. So, i-type nito x negative derivative ng x squared over y cube is equal to x2. So, yung, x, yung limit mo is 2. So, yung naman sa next is derivative ng constant raised to negative 1 so interchange, interchange mo yung variable lang so derivative of y squared over x cube so kung, nyo, kung makapansin nyo nag interchange lang yung variable so bali pag input mo to yung sagot niyan is 2 tapos pag input naman nyo naman to is 3 so, so yung dy over dxy, 2 thirds. Ito, sa option na to. Option. So, kung makapansin yung 2 thirds. So, 2 thirds and 2 thirds. So, tingnan natin to. Ito yung sa option, di ba? So, negative derivative of x squared over y cube. Yung limit niya, x is equal to 2 times derivative of y squared over x cube. Quantity raised to negative 1, yung limit, x is equal to 2. So, ito pwede na itong input sa calculator nyo. Isahan lang. So, yung lalabas nyo is 2 third. So, yan yung calculator technique natin sa variable separable equation gamit yung calculator.